this moment, we are facing some critical things um, uh, at the beginning of the 21st century um, that I would like to argue have very much to do with our somatic self. And what I'd like to argue is that one of the fundamental reasons that we can so easily pollute our water, our air, and the minerals and, and the landscape is because we're out of touch with our bodies. We're out of touch with our feeling self. I'd further say that one of the reasons that so much conflict, and I say presume conflict, that there's so much conflict results in um, uh, violence is because we're out of touch with our bodies. We're out of touch with the feeling self. Um, and I would say that one of the reasons that the, the gap between those that have and those that don't have, the dis disenfranchised, is getting wider and wider and wider, has to do with uh, the atrophy of our ability to live in our bodies and to feel. Um, I want to be clear here is that when I say to feel, I don't mean that you have a feeling um, or an emotion. A feeling and emotion may come out of feeling, but really what I'm talking about is this notion of being connected to the fundamental core energy that animates us. Uh, different cultures speak about uh, ki, chi, prana, ilan, vital, excitation, uh, or our energy. Uh, and it is this core energy that I believe that we as a peoples have moved away from. And that by not being able to feel ourselves, we're also unable to feel other living beings. We're, other, we're unable to feel other humans, we're un, and unable to feel the four-legged that are on the planet, and we're unable to feel all the living systems that are here. Without this ability to feel, it is much more difficult to act wisely with individuals and collectives. It's much more difficult to act compassionately um, with other living systems, and it's much more difficult to act skillfully with other living systems. This energy that I'm talking about that animates us, the, the, the flow of consciousness that moves through and makes us who we are and alive, uh, is the result of three billion years of, um, of evolution. This three billion years of evolution has a lot to tell us about adapting, surviving, coordinating well together, uh, getting along with each other, and how we can make the best possible future. This isn't to say that we, we quit thinking, that our reasonable uh, uh, cognitive conceptual selves we have to put aside. That's part of who we are too, but that's imbalanced right now. And we're spending far too much time in our heads thinking about symbolizing, making uh, models, instead of using the unused intelligence that happens below our chins um, in our, through our whole body. The great uh, uh, advances in the technology of neuroscience now have clearly, clearly ground that there's a, uh, uh, three other brains, one around the heart center and one around the belly, and that these three brains interrelate with each other. Those brains are underused, and because of that, the ability for us to identify empathize with other living life forms has, has tremendously diminished. Uh, what I mean by this notion of identifying with our feeling self would be like this. Take a moment if you, as you're watching this, and if you're sitting in a chair, feel your sit bones in the chair, or feel your back against the chair. What you're feeling is sensation. You're feeling shape, you're feeling movement, you're feeling uh, uh, temperature. Sensation is the building block of life. And by bringing our attention to our living self, we're able to feel um, uh, much more deeply and draw on this three billion year heritage of wisdom, intelligence, and compassion. Of course, there's other systems that we have to get in place. Uh, there's other practices that we can do. But uh, in terms of somatics, I would say this is our mission now so that we can take better care of the planet, we can take better care of uh, those that don't have, and that we can find a creative, uh, uh, generative resolution to conflict that doesn't have to end up in violence. If we take on this mission 
of somatics in the 21st century. What we see as possible is that this idea of learning and working through the body uh, will be commonplace so that um, both individuals and systems will be able to be self-educating, self-generating, and self-healing so that we become learners on our own. We know how to heal ourselves on our own, the best, what is best for our physical and mental health. And uh, we, we begin to look, look at the other people and the world as possibilities, not as something that we need to dominate, have dominion over, or desacralize, but to really to connect with the other parts of the world so that um, there's a win-win for everybody.